Hello, my name is Edwin Lotter. I'm CEO of LP Montage Technik, a German company which plans, develops and implements manual and semi-automated assembly workstations, respectively assembly lines, such as one-piece flow systems and so on. In this training video I will explain some basic information about MTM in general, its origin and the main advantages in using this method. MTM, that means Methods Time Measurement, is a procedure for analyzing work processes and determining planned times. MTM is ideal to create work processes to achieve high benefit and to eliminate waste already in the planning phase. Furthermore, the use of MTM helps to design workplaces more ergonomically to ensure that work does not make the worker sick. And of course, this is an important aspect and one of the main approaches. MTM finds its justification especially in the planning processes. To create an analysis, it is only necessary to have an idea of the planned work process and the structure of the work systems which will be used. In contrast to the time recording by means of stopwatch, like for example Refa technicians do, it is not necessary to find an existing process or workplace for the application of the MTM method. Therefore, MTM is an appropriate tool to calculate working times before the equipment is available. The use of MTM works because all movements made by the human are attributed to certain basic movements for which the time is known. The origin of MTM Three American ergonomists, Mr. Meinert, Mr. Schwab and Mr. Stegemerten, had a consulting contract from Westinghouse Electric Corporation and developed the basic data process of the MTM between 1940 and 1948. In the 1960s, MTM was expanded and modified to the systems we use today. The current medium at that time was 16 mm film. You can imagine no computers or such modern things we use today were available at that time. The idea for the development of MTM was therefore to record all manual activities that humans can carry out several times and thereby obtain average values derived from the recorded time values. The medium of 16 mm film creates 100,000 pictures per hour. This means that one picture is the time equivalent of one part of 100,000 parts in one hour. Here on this list on the right you can see that the smallest time unit is 1 TMU, that means time measurement unit. And if you convert that you get 27.8 TMU for one second. Here the picture on the left shows the MTM control loop which contains the five basic movements of MTM. The first one is reach to a part or, or to a tool for example. The second one is grasp this part or tool then move back. The next one is positioning for example a part in a jig or a fixture or whatever and release the hand. These basic motion elements are supplemented by additional elements like walking, bend over, straighten up, visual control, handling tools and so on. Here on the right you can see a list of advantages of MTM. So MTM is applicable in every branch of the economy, is generally understandable, can be learned without special prior knowledge, is internationally identical handling, execution time is self-evident with the given method. 
Due to the worldwide uniform coding of the movement elements, MTM is valid worldwide and is understood by all trained people. The time determined by MTM corresponds to that which a person skilled in the art can achieve over a whole working day. But what we have to consider is that mental work or process times such as screwing times or soldering processes and so on are not dedicable by MTM codes. These things have to be estimated or measured and added to the MTM calculation sheet as a process time. The results of the analysis are useful for planning future operations, calculations, change management and very important optimization of, uh, for example, existing assembly systems and visualization of current process state. Yeah, here can you see on the right uh, picture of primary and secondary analysis. Primary and secondary effort means the distinction of effort, which brings a value in terms of customer's benefit. These are the primary ones here shown in the blue field. And secondary effort, which brings no benefit here, the orange field in the picture. The challenge is to minimize the secondary as much as possible to strengthen the primary effort. The following preconditions are decisive for the determined time and its reproducibility. Average talent person, that means not the fastest and not the slowest of the district, for example. Then good practice and handling. The worker should not do it for the first time. He or she should be trained. And last but not least, appropriate parts. That means parts should fit without, for example, damages or dimensional deviations and so on. However, it's very important that the operator is trained in MTM uh, because there are many rules to be observed when using MTM. MTM UAS. That means Universal Analysis Systems. Several MTM analysis systems like MTM1, MTM Standard Dates and some more are listed under the MTM brand. In practice, MTM UAS is mostly used because this system combines certain basic movements into compound motion types. This considerably shortened the analysis time with almost the same accuracy in comparison to MTM1. MTM1 is the basic method. Here the MTM UAS code card is shown and as can be seen, the card is divided in several zones with columns and lines for, ex for different types of movements, handlings, distances and so on. For example, here you can see the first area is um, are the movements for get and place. Here the second one is uh, for additional place, handling tools and so, uh, and so on up to visual control. And here for example uh, the columns Here the first one, that means uh, the distance for reach and bring, um, zero up to 20 centimeters. The second column means between 20 and 50 centimeters and so on. What formats and standards can be used for the MTM calculation? Several methods are available such as MTM time block tables, to fill in and calculate manually based on the code card, a sheet of paper, a pencil and a pocket calculator are enough. The second here on the list is computer-aided procedures like uh, Tycon 4, available at the MTM Association. Please for costs, costs ask uh, MTM Association, in my opinion, it's rather ex expensive. And here the third one on the list is MTM UAS calculation sheet, including primary and secondary analysis. Developed by LP Montage Technique, based 
on an Excel calculation sheet and available at LP, my company. If you are interested for costs, ask LP Montage Technik. The primary secondary analysis differentiates between value adding primary and non value adding secondary effort. The key figure generated from this is a measure of the efficiency of our work systems. And uh, primary secondary analysis was, uh, by the way, developed by Professor Lotte. Uh, this was my father in 1979, based on MTM knowledge, and in the meanwhile became part of industrial engineering education in Germany. The next video explains the use of MTM UIS in a real application in which the work content of assembling components in a circuit board is allocated between human and robots. Thank you for your attention.